This is a clip from the Canon Podcast. To hear the full episode and get access to exclusive benefits, head over to patreon.com forward slash the Canon Pod and sign up for just three pounds a month. Who is our best goalkeeper? I mean, clearly David Raya started. So, I mean, clearly that means David Raya is the best goalkeeper and he's here to stay. And there's done. no way back for Aaron Ramsdale. Mikael um, hates him. Yeah. It's done. Yeah, that's done. Yeah, it's not, and did you see? Did you see the way that he looked on the bench? Yeah. It was just it was forecast, and it was just you know it was defeated. And I yeah. think at the end of the day, there's a big issue that there's internal concern. Yeah, he's got a Chelsea Aaron Ramsdale's mentality. He's got a Chelsea. Yeah. <laughs> um, seriously, I the, the one thing I will say is it does amaze me that a manager can have a pre-match interview with the major broadcaster in the country, the one who's handling the game, and tell you that the reason he's changing around his goalkeepers is because he wants two top players in every position for competition and it depends on the game. And then you can come out of that and go into the punditry and they go, yeah, well, it's clear that Raya's the number one now. He's mm-hmm. just told you. He's just told you what he's doing. And he said it after. He said it as well. And people are still going, well, Raya's going to be number one, Ramsdale's out. It's like I, I know we're joking about it, but it is incredible. To keep, the, the man has told you. Now, you may disagree with it. That's a separate thing. That is, is that you may disagree with how he's doing it. You may think you need a number one or whatever, and that's what we'll talk about now. But the idea that he, you know, why well, this is this is this isn't real. He's you know he's sort of messing around with you. He's been talking about it the whole time. He's been talking about it for years anyway. I I, I will say, I said this to you earlier. I, I think I think it's a fascinating thing, and I th- I'm I'm fascinated by how this is all going to work. This is innovation, but we have seen it. You know, we've seen it with Deserby, with Verbruggen and and Steel this season, and we've seen it mm-hmm. in various managers before in niche leagues that you know people can name. But the 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 thing I feel at the moment is I'm I'm a little bit unclear. I said this early on uh, to you, right? Like I'm a little bit unclear about what is a Raya game and what is a Ramsdale game, and I hope that becomes clear over the course of the season. Mm-hmm. At the moment, the clues that we have are Raya's crossing numbers are supposedly like he claims seven percent of crosses compared to ramsdale's five which in in the context of those numbers is quite a big big swing we've seen the numbers and there's certain other numbers in terms of saves and all that sort of stuff that you could say well you know does that skew it then you have to look at team's play style and you know how much he's being asked to do certain things and how many shots you're being facing so there's there's a lot of subjectivity around goalkeeper stats we do have a few clues. We can think about Ramsdale's mental profile. We can think about, you know, the we have that idea in our heads of Raya maybe being better under the high press, which I, I would probably agree with. We sort of feel there's more calm, cool collectedness about Raya. But I do feel we're still working with scraps of information on this. And I'm look, looking forward, to be honest, to having this type of conversation in six months and going, oh, this game, that's a Raya game. That game is a Ramsdale game. Because even though I think we can sit here and say... Brighton, high press, who do you want to be baiting the baiting the press, playing round it, being the spare man in the build-up, that feels like a Raya thing. Who do you want away at Goodison Park, for example? I would have thought Ramsdale. So I don't, you know, I feel like I feel like I'm still not I haven't quite worked that out. But yeah, I'm interested in your thoughts on that. Yeah, and and they're they're strange. You know, I think I've kind of delineated before where I felt um, a Raya game is a pressing type of game. So you talk about your Brightons, your city ironically Spurs, you know, we'll get into that maybe at the end, but you know, the, an Ange Spurs team is a pressy type of team. Yep. And so I think that those teams that like to step up high and can offer you no space, Thomas Frank with, did a brilliant job, by the way, on Monday Night Football when he talked about Brighton, where either you have two options, you meet them high up the pitch or you sit very, very deep and, you know, you offer them a block. And I think that also, that intuition is very, very different, mate. Like for me, when if I'm sitting deep, I want Aaron Ramsdale. If I want to, you know, go very, very high, you know, or, or have teams that are going to go against me, I would maybe want Raya. And uh, the, the thing is, there's one type of game that I think that I would prefer an Aaron Ramsdale to, a, you know, a Raya, and that would be an, a, a kind of transition game, like a Nottingham Forest with Awanihi, like that idea of a 1v1 transition threat, or mm-hmm. more aptly, United against Rashford. That is a perfect example of, for me, David Raya struggles a little bit more when he's 1v1 and he's defending in space. He is a sweeper keeper that he can go out and he is comfortable going out, but he doesn't judge the distances as well as Ramsdale. I felt that. Very small sample size, but against Everton, there was a few moments where I thought, ooh, is he coming? Is he going? And I felt Ramsdale's been really confident with that. Yeah, there is that indecision. So there is going to be a game between the two. One thing that I will end on is I kind of, you know, talked about this. I feel that David Raya hasn't played. 
So simply, like, let's ignore this kind of player war thing. He's David played Aya one game, played George. He's our number one goalkeeper. I don't know what... <laughs> you haven't you haven't learned the rules of football fandom, mate. <laughs> Evidently. I'm still trying to figure that out. But I mean, uh, he, he still is somebody that, you know, if you're going to expect him to kind of come in against the Spurs, if we're all saying that we like pressing teams, Spurs are that, do you really want him to come into the North London Derby intensity without having played a single game all year and not having played for a month? I do think that a bounce game, just fitness wise, and not even just fitness, because I think people over index that, but mentally for a goalkeeper, mm. the mental aspect is absolutely huge. We talked about the mental profiles being different from an Ederson type towards an Aaron Ramsdale type. That's also could lend us to the idea of the game. Aaron Ramsdale needs the crowd and he needs to play himself into a game. David Raya is focused from day dot. He's very cool, calm, composed, but he's not intense. In, in a sense. And that can lead to complacency on the other end of the spectrum where you need somebody that's switched on constantly and decisive in those big moments that doesn't choke under pressure. I'm looking, yes, at the champions, the championship playoff. David Raya had one of his worst games in a really big moment, in a moment that mattered. He struggled to live up to the occasion. Now, of course, Aaron Ramsdale has also struggled in poor moments, by the way. It's not just, you know, the Liverpool performance that he did really, really well in. You know, he has struggled in really key moments of the press, I, I look at Brighton, I think Brighton last year he struggled with. He didn't have a great game against them. So both of them will have different mental profiles, but I do think some of this has to do with um, playing a bounce game for Raya, getting him involved, mm. because if we're going to assume he's going to get games in the next six to eight games before the next international break, I don't think you can expect him to just come off the back of not playing for a month and just being able to perform. Whether that's yeah. good or bad that's or better great. than Ramsdale, it's neither here nor there. So... Um, I think that's where we'll leave it. We've basically agreed that there's only no, one number one. Aaron yep. Ramsdale is going. He's going to be yep. sold for forty million pounds, and oh, no, um, that's going to be. We that. can't sell, mate. Yeah, that's true. Actually, I'm so silly. Mm. But um, <laughs> moving on, um, there's somebody that I do want to talk about, and that is our captain. Thanks for checking out the Canon Podcast. To get full episodes and access to exclusive benefits, head over to patreon.com forward slash the Canon Pod and sign up for just £3 a month.